Hey guys, it's another transmission from the astrologer Loveless. Today's story centers on Erica Mina. Fact or fiction? We'll be looking at what the stars have to say on the fate of Erica Mina. Will she be finally fired from love and hip-hop? According to Media Takeout, after throwing a table at weekend castmate Spice, the dance hall queen, and sending her to the hospital, love and hip-hop producers are considering relieving her from her duties of stirring shit up on TV. Let's get into it. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes. Cancer is rising. This makes Erica the moon and Leo in this chart. This sign rising makes us think of Erica as a very emotional person. The moon does not fare well in fire signs. And based on what we know about Erica Mina, we can go with the more negative meaning of the moon here. In this situation with Spice and her role on love and hip hop, she is shown as stubborn and hot headed, potentially egotistical. Leo also suggests here, anger that is put on anger for entertainment. Mars in the first house here, and Leo, is another confirmation of a hot-headed person, and someone who has been this way for a long time. Mars, in a fire sign that is not Aries, has significant negative energy. Symbolically, there is too much heat. Again, there is the theme of anger for entertainment, violence to feel superior, and satisfy the ego. There is even deeper, darker energy plaguing Mars, and plaguing Eric. Mars shadow placement, a hidden placement joins it tightly to the fixed star, Algo. This star is modernly associated with violence, anger, especially anger from alcohol consumption, and destructive mental illness. Not to say that Erica is mentally ill, but you get the idea that there is a lot of negative energy in or around her. Let's look at the sun as it pertains to her overall energy in this situation. It is a secondary describe. The sun is joined to the star Prima Hyatum in Gemini. Sun conjunct Prima Hyatum by 58 minutes. Prima Hyatum brings sudden events, reversals, tears, sometimes violence. Another source, Robson, says the sun with Prima Hyatum indicates the following dark energy and disturbed mind, failure in study, muddled thinking, misfortune, and some other nasty things. That's pretty intense. But, if Spice had died from the result of Erica's table throw, Erica would have become a certified murderer. There is fortunate energy in this chart otherwise for Erica, and thankfully, it didn't go that way. Despite all this negativity and violence, let's look at Venus. Venus is in Cancer, Erica's domain, and will also describe her energy. Venus is almost in the first house, but still in the twelfth, Venus in Cancer partly shows her as a beautiful woman, with a very feminine side and image. She does have a potential to be very sweet and nurturing, but the negative energies we've mentioned before taint this prospect. The twelfth house also brings negative energy, saying that currently, she acts in ways that are to her undoing. Venus joined to the star Castor, also describes Erica's energy concerning this situation. Here is what Castor brings, associated with the nature of Mercury. It indicates a quick thinking and mentally alert nature, with a gift for communication. Capable of satire, but also mischievous, wisecracking and cynical. Changing fortunes are also possible. The negative energies we mentioned will twist this meaning, but that does sound like her. Lastly, in traditional astrology, Venus is said to soften and potentially neutralize the damaging indications of Mars in certain conditions. That might be a little true here. Venus influencing the first house may be showing that she's an angry woman, but not as far as an intentional killer. So, a beautiful woman with a nurturing side, but also a very angry and self-destructive woman. That's it for part one. In part two, look at what the stars say for her career.